We've had a lot of questions from our users about how to properly wire your solar panels and what they should pay attention to. There are three options when it comes to connecting your panels together. You can wire them in either series, parallel, or in a hybrid of both. Each technique offers distinct benefits and may better suit different environments and different batteries as well. When wiring your solar panels, there are two distinct metrics to be aware of, voltage and amps. You want to always make sure that your voltage, amps, and watts are all under the maximum input of your power station to avoid any issues. For example, these two 110 watt portable panels each have a maximum power voltage of 18.4. The open circuit voltage is 21.8 volts and the short circuit current is 6.5 amps. No matter how you want to wire your panels, always make sure your add up VOC is within the range of your power station. For instance, the Delta II allows for 11 to 60 volts, 15 amps, and a maximum of 500 watts of input. In series, the voltage increases while the amperage stays the same, while the opposite happens in parallel. The voltage stays the same while the amperage increases. When you connect two 110 watt panels in series like we have here, the voltage will equal 36.8 volts because you have 18.4 plus 18.4, while the amperage will stay at six amps. The watts will be determined by multiplying the two coming in at 220 watts. This does not surpass the maximum voltage, watts, or amps that our Delta II can handle. You can use the same calculations using our 160 60 watt panels and our 220 watt panels while connecting them in series. In series, you connect the positive from one panel to the negative from the other panel. You'll then be left with a positive and negative of each panel, which then can plug into our XT60 connector, which you can plug directly into your device. The main benefit to connecting in series is that you don't have any extra adapters or any extra equipment, and you have a very low amperage. This means you don't get much voltage drop between your panels and your power station. For most applications, connecting in series is your best bet. One of the downsides of connecting in series is is that if there's any partial shading on one panel, it will affect all of your panels in your lineup. In parallel, like I said earlier, the volts stay the same while the amps increase. Continuing to use the 110 watt panels in front of us, the volts will stay the same at 18.4, while the amps will increase to 12 because you have six amps and six amps in each. To determine the watts, it is the same calculation, multiplying how many panels you have. So we have two 110 watt panels equaling 220 watts. A big difference between parallel and series is that while connecting in parallel, an additional parallel adapter is needed. In parallel, you connect the positive to positive of both panels into the adapter, and also the negative to negative of each panel. These will not act as your new positive and new negative to plug into your XT60 cable to then plug into your device. Different from series connection, the performance of each panel is independent from each other, which is great for occasional shade. And because the voltage will not add up, it is great for low voltage situations like on an RV. However, parallel can require thick and hefty cables and components that can withstand a high amperage. There's also a third way that you can connect your panels into a hybrid of both series and parallel. For example, if you had four of the same spec panels on hand, you first wire two of the panels into series and the other two in the series as well. You then connect both of those into parallel. Then you put these two arrays together with a parallel adapter. The voltage would then add up to 36.8 volts while the amperage would add up to 12 volts. The wattage, because you have four panels now, the wattage would multiply by four equaling to 440 watts. In this case, you would not have a high voltage or amperage in total, which would still fall under and meet the requirements of Delta II. This is how a hybrid array gives you a balance of both voltage and amperage. The main benefit to connecting in hybrid is if your power station does not accept a high voltage input. Now let's get into some questions from our users and get some more insights, shall we? So we have a question here, do solar panels charge faster in series or parallel? So it's kind of a difficult question because there's no clear cut answer to which one charge your battery faster. That's because there's so many different factors that influence your charging speed. But generally speaking, wiring in series could yield faster charging time. We have another question, can I mix solar panels from different manufacturers with different electrical ratings? The short answer is yes. However, different electrical ratings can make calculating your voltage and amps trickier. If you're wiring in series, all of your panels should have the same current rating. Otherwise, the current output would only equal the lowest current rating in the series. Similarly, parallel systems should have consistent voltage. If not, the system output will only match the lowest output rating. We recommend using the same across all systems to avoid any safety issues, as well as keeping it as simple and easy as possible. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll be sure to answer them for you. If you need help choosing a new panel for your setup, check out the video link here. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.